YouTube, Silver Joker here, heading down to uh, Main Street Coin in Hyde Park. Uh, Clay, the owner there, I called him and asked him if he wouldn't mind if I came down, browse through some of his silver, uh, maybe ask a question or two, get some of his insights on uh, silver stacking and silver investing. Um, he said, sure, no problem. If he had some time and he's not busy, he'd be glad to do that. Um, the thing to know is Clay is a, a more of a technical guy. He's more of a, a markets kind of guy. He buys and sells on, um, on how the market is trading. Uh, and so uh, I think it'll be interesting to hear a different perspective on uh, silver stacking and buying. Uh, so if you don't, uh, if you don't have a few minutes, uh, let's go. All right, so here we are at the famous uh, generic silver bin. I uh, love this place right here. This is kind of my favorite place down here at Main Street Coin. But you know, I have two major coin dealers that I deal with. Main Street Coin here being one of them, and then Franklin Street Coin. And you guys have gone with me on both of those places. Now I do go to other coin dealers, but you know, you gotta go where you can get the best price. And I get the best price here. I get treated very well here. Uh, it's almost like, um, you know, a camaraderie we have here. Uh, I know I'm the customer. I know they're the seller. Uh, that that, that uh, fact is never lost with me, but you go where you get the best treatment. Um, price is always important, but treatment is also a major part of it. And uh, both of these places treat me right. So I frequent these places most of all. Now, um, I will be going to other coin stores here in the future, but right now I'm focusing on these two places because I'm just trying to just fill my fill my stack. I'm trying to get as much silver as I can since silver is so low. So I did ask Clay, I asked him, you know, where he thought silver was going, uh, what the markets was gonna do, when can we expect maybe silver to go up, or when does he think that silver is gonna, the price is gonna go up. And uh, like I told you, he's a real technical guy. And uh, this is how he uh, explained it to me. I would think so. So usually uh, the price of silver is going to very strongly correlate inversely with what real term, real interest rates are basically. So, you know, at the end of this month, if the Fed actually does drop a quarter point or half a point, yeah, um, we're going to see the real interest rate force down and it's going to affect the strength of the dollar. So if we do see that easing cycle start, I think that'll be the sign. That'll be the big sign to the general commodities market that money's about to get printed. <laughs> like I said, uh, pretty technical for me. Um, I'm pretty simple and basic when it comes to the markets and all that kind of stuff. So I asked him to clarify just a little bit. Basically asked him, so um, what you're saying is now is a good time to um, stack silver or continue to stack silver as I've been doing it uh, since the market he feels in his opinion is about to change? Absolutely. Um, I mean, stacking silver at $15 an ounce cannot possibly be a bad long, medium to long term investment. I mean, right. Not, not at this juncture. Right. I absolutely agree. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. I mean, how can you um, possibly go bad, go wrong with stacking silver? I mean, stacking um, a known uh, precious metal that has um, value and has had value uh, for thousands of years. I mean, how can you go wrong by doing that where the market goes up or goes down? But anyway, I did ask him about Bitcoin um, versus uh, stacking silver and what he thought of Bitcoin, if he had any, anything like that. And, um, you know, because I know a lot of people are saying, you know, we need to get into the um, get into the uh, cryptocurrencies. And this is what he told me. Yeah, I agree. I'd say there's definitely a place for something like Bitcoin um, in anybody's portfolio if they understand it. Yeah. And with that said, yeah, silver and gold are just the physical, you know, expressions of debtless money. They don't owe anybody anything. And going forward in an environment where there's more and more debt and interest rates have really nowhere to go but up long term, I feel like it behooves us all to have a small amount for right. as much as we can afford of real money. All right, so I don't know enough about cryptocurrency generally or um, Bitcoin specifically to try to invest in it. So I think I'm going to stick with um, just stacking silver, uh, continue to put silver away, um, maybe add some gold in the future. Uh, but I do want one of them 100 ounce bars. I've really been thinking about it again, I'm circling around that. So just about every uh, dealer that I come across, every seller um, and every potential buyer of silver, if a 100 ounce bar would be 
um, a good idea and if they would buy one. And so I asked Clay that question. I thought he was going to give me a real technical answer about that, but this is how he answered it. Now, you know, the spread at that point may be higher on the bar that big because it has a smaller audience of people that want to really invest in it. Right. Um, but no, it's, it's going to track silver just like a one ounce round or anything else. So. Right. So buying a 100 ounce bar would not be a detriment. It, it's going gonna, it's gonna to sell just like a, a one ounce round. Yep. Sure right. All right. That pretty much concluded our conversation there. Uh, he had some customers come in at that point and he spent the rest of the time that I was there dealing with his customers. I did buy some constitutional silver, uh, some silver dollars, and uh, I guess I, I bought a dollar's worth, uh, uh, two um, um, Franklin halves. But anyway, I want to kind of talk to you guys because I got a lot of comments in, my, in the last video I made where I talked to Phil. Um, well, people were asking, new stackers had a lot of questions. So I want to address just a little bit of those things. Um, in the time that I got left in this video. Um, you know, when I first started stacking, there wasn't a whole lot of information about uh, stacking. So I'm just gonna share with you guys some of the things I've learned, some of the paths that I've taken that have worked out. And, uh, you know, use it like the salad bar, like I say in some other videos, you know, take what you need, leave the rest. So I think the, the biggest thing, well, the first thing, if not the biggest, the first thing is learn silver value understand what silver value is there's lots of really shiny packages out there lots of really high premium silver that look beautiful they look fantastic they just you just you know look like you just can't live without it but the thing you got to keep in mind is because it has a premium for you does not mean that that premium is going to be for other people in other words if you buy something with a high premium thinking that that's a good investment a silver buyer may not think that it's as beautiful as you do. So it's going. he's gonna pay you for the silver value, the silver content. So keep that in mind. Go to YouTube, um, go to eBay, hit that advanced search, and go in there and, and see what people are uh, paying for the silver that you're buying. You know, skip the auctions, go to the buy now prices and see what people are actually paying for the silver that you are buying and let that kind of determine how much you want to pay for the silver i mean just because it looks really good does not mean that it's worth a whole lot so you know do some window shopping shop around a little bit another thing is do research the full stack videos on youtube are great they're fantastic i like them a lot i watch them all the time uh, but you want to know why um why they paid what they paid for how much they paid where they bought the silver from and why they bought the silver that they bought that's what you want to know you want to know how you can increase your stack um, with the least amount of cost to yourself everybody wants to buy low sell high that's not going to be the case immediately with silver silver is a marathon not a sprint so when you get into buying silver if you're getting into it to get rich this is the wrong commodity for you. Uh, silver is a hedge against future inflation, and that's how you should look at it. And the most important thing, the most important thing I've learned is make a budget. I cannot emphasize that enough. Make a budget. Know how much you can spend on silver because the last thing you want to do is buy silver today just to have to turn around and sell it tomorrow. I mean, know what your extras are. Knowing what you can know, what you can spend that won't hurt you down the road. Now, everybody's going to have emergencies, but you got to think about that when you're buying silver. If you're buying silver, if, if silver spot is fifteen dollars and thirty cents, you're probably going to spend sixteen dollars for that ounce of silver. Now, when you go to sell it back, you're not going to sell it back for spot. You're going to sell it for lower than spot. So you're going to take a loss. So know how much you can stand to spend, do a budget, a reasonable budget, sit down and be honest with yourself about how much you can spend. And to me, that is the most important part for a new stacker because you get discouraged so easily when you buy and silver and then have to turn around and sell it right back at a loss. It makes you feel like, why the hell am I doing this? So make a budget. 
And I guess that's really all I want. I don't want to be preachy. I don't want my videos to come off as preachy. But, you know, I had a lot of questions in my last video about that, so I figured I'd address it a little bit. So anyway, there you have it. There was my trip to uh, Main Street Coin, a little conversation with Clay. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up subscribe i'm gonna do more stuff like this in the future i appreciate you guys stopping by i appreciate all the support and love that i get let's just keep doing what we do peace hey, hey, hey.